Hello? Christina. Yes. I need to see Trenton and Megan immediately, please. Hurry up. Yeah, un understood. understood. Uh, you need to get to the dorm right now. There's some kind the of dorm? issue. Yeah. Megan, yes, you need to go to the dorm with Trenton right now. I don't know what's going on. Get in here quickly. Hey, Stand there, both of you. Right there. Listen up. Hey, Chef. I've never had to deal with this before. And in 20 seasons, I've never, ever felt this angry. You guys know I never come into these dorms. I give you your peace and respect that privacy, right? Understood? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. What you may not realize is that every day when you're in that kitchen, Hell's Kitchen Security does a check of the dorms. Yes, Chef. And look at what they found. I am not fucking around. Whose is this? Who smokes? I'm not fucking around. Who smokes this shit? I have no idea, Chef. Trenton, is it yours? No, Chef. Megan, who is it? Did you know this was in here? Absolutely not, Chef. Hold that. I'm not talking about one joint. This is insane. Jesus. What in the fuck is going on? I, I know nothing about this. I'm shocked. This is grounds for disqualification. Do you have any idea what's going to happen now? No, oh, Chef. We'll shut the place down. This is not acceptable. And I can't believe on finale day, I'm dealing with this shit. Tell me the truth. Who brought that in? I have no idea, Chef. Be honest with me. I, I have no, no be honest with I me. I have no idea, Chef. Megan. I have no fucking idea, Chef. I want an chef. answer now. I have no idea, Otherwise, no I'm idea, shutting chef. this whole thing fucking down right now. Who smokes? Tell me the truth. Who brought that in? Megan. I have no fucking idea, I want an chef. answer now. I have no idea, Otherwise, no I'm idea, shutting chef. this whole thing fucking down right now. Whose is this? Open one up. In fact, open them, bo open them both up. It's your head chef's jacket. <laughs> oh, Megan. I'm like about to cry, Chef. <laughs> I was like, don't shut us down. Oh, man. It's our jackets, our proper jackets. I was super concerned. I mean, it's like being yelled at by your dad. There's your amazing jackets. Chef! Still terrified right now, but I'm really glad no one's that fucking stupid here. <laughs> Take a breather. I'll see you back in my office. Be back in a minute, OK? Thanks, oh, boy. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know I need it for lunchtime. I ain't fully booked, and you've let me down. Come on! And you never know what to expect from Chef Ramsay. Oh, this kid comes out of the office, and he is the cutest mini-me version of Chef Ramsay. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> that kid was cute. What is everyone smiling at? Last night's dinner service was nothing but disaster. You rolled a bunch of donkeys. <laughs> Dave, I don't know how you do it with one arm. Bloody hell, if you were a horse, we'd have shot you by now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you ready for today? Yes, yes chef. chef. I said, are you ready for today? Yes, Chef. chef. Right, I got up in here, big boy. Thank you. Thank you very much. What? <laughs> I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with you guys. Come on. <laughs> huh? That was an awesome way to start the day. Chef Ramsay always has something up his sleeve. And you know what? I'm going to be ready for whatever he throws my way. Right. You are the final four, and life's about to get a lot harder. Now, there's no bigger pain anywhere in the world than a vegetarian. Yeah? But if you are a fine dining restaurant, you need to cater for vegetarians. So. For your next challenge, I want each and every one of you to cook a stunning vegetarian dish. There's nothing worse than a finicky vegetarian. This is a true challenge for me. Now, to make this even more challenging, 80 exacting, difficult, demanding customers are arriving in just under an hour. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. One dish, 80 portions. 80 people. 80 portions, holy smokes! One hour, starting from now. Hell's Kitchen is fully stocked with fresh produce. 
The chefs can choose from any ingredient imaginable to design their vegetarian dishes. Can you see any veg stock? Veg stock? No. This is my toughest challenge yet. I was not expecting to make 80 portions, but I know volume. Volume's nothing. At the country club, I do this all the time. Kevin has decided to prepare a mushroom crepe served over beet carpaccio. Tanil, what are you doing? Vegetable stuff, eggplant. OK, good. I need to win a challenge, man. Chef probably thinks I'm a fluke or something. Tanil's dish is a mushroom stuffed eggplant with brown rice and a creamy mushroom sauce. Ariel, what are you doing? It's a grilled eggplant lasagna. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ariel is making a vegetarian lasagna with eggplant, tofu, and fresh mozzarella. I've cooked for 80 people before solo, but not in this amount of time. It's like crazy. God bless vegetarians. Vegetarian all the way. And finally, Dave is making a polenta tower with goat cheese and roasted peppers. Dave, you need me to help you? No, no. I don't want any extra help. I got to win it on my own. I'm not going to show any weakness. <sighs> All right, shut up. Shut up. I don't care how much pain I have to endure. I'm here to fight to the end. Dave is the one-armed bandit for sure. I give him props, because that's not easy to do all this stuff with just one hand. It's very impressive. OK, guys, last five minutes. Whoa. Don't make it too complicated, yeah? Yes, yeah, sure. 80 portions. Oh, garlic. Garlic's in here if you need it. OK, thanks. Last minute, start plating up. Oh, I can't get these plates apart. Let's go, guys. Any second now, I guess they're going to be arriving. Let's go. As the clock ticks down, none of the chefs have completed 80 portions of their dish. Kevin, can you start plating? But that won't stop their guests from arriving. Right, gather what you've got, because I cannot keep these guests waiting. Yes? Yes, yes chef. And by the way, they don't like vegetables. my worst nightmare. I do not work well with children. 80 of your toughest critics so far. I'm screwed, man. I got stuffed eggplant. I'm 28. I just started liking eggplant. Good morning. Man, I can't win in this place. I can't win. Good to see you guys. Are you ready to taste some delicious food? Yeah! Excellent. Take your tray and hit those tables. Line up. Let's go. Each chef will serve their lunches on a different colored plate. The guests will vote for their favorite dish after having tasted them all. Where's our food? We want this. We but unfortunately, the chefs aren't ready with enough portions to go around. Sauce gingerly. Come on, Tanil. Do they have to go in a perfect mold? I don't think the kids understand what a mold is. I'll just get a spoon on there, my darling. As I'm going along, I'm just throwing the stuff on the plate like the old gray haired cafeteria lady. We want food! We want food! I've got food! The kids were chanting, We want food! And I was like, I've got food! But you're not gonna like it. We want food! We want food! We want food! Sandwiches. Come on, kids. I know you guys like sandwiches. There you go, buddy. I tried to use the word sandwich just to maybe hope the kids would like it. Who wants a sandwich from the one-armed bandit? That's my name. I tried any angle I could get to make the kids like me. You're also cute. I sold myself out. <laughs> you guys are the best. Here's some lasagna. Lasagna? Eggplant? I lucked out a little bit. I chose, you know, lasagna. It's colorful. Kids like cheese. So I think it's going to go over well with the little ones. Anyone else need lasagna? Anybody try sweet and sour vegetables yet, guys? If you haven't tried it, we got plenty of them here. Mine's going to be a tough one because it's straight vegetarian. I mean, I got Asian vegetable crepe with roasted beets. I mean, I'm unstoppable if I can pull this off. Last try. Come on, Dave, please. All right, that's all 80. That's all 80. Now that the kids have received each of the chef's vegetarian dishes, the question is, will they like them? Oh, my gosh. What is it? 
disgusting. The guests have sampled each of the plates. Now they must vote for their favorite. Purple is delicioso. I like yellow. So far, this isn't really good. While the ballots are being tabulated, Chef Ramsay has a surprise for his guests. Now, boys and girls, because you guys have been so great this morning, I've got a special treat for you all, yes? A bag full of treats and sweets. JP, bring them in. Let's go. Come and get them. Come and get them. Come and get them. Don't be shy. Excellent. Take one. That was mayhem, OK? Like, complete chaos. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's go. Right, boys and girls, first of all, thank you so much for coming this morning. Really good to see you. Now, here are the results. 40% voted this dish their least favorite. Kevin. Yes. I like beets. Adults like beets. I hated beets as a kid. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Now. The top two dishes belong to Dave and to Neil. Thanks, guys. OK, here we go. The moment you've all been waiting for. Now, the number one dish with 55% of your votes belongs to I never went. I always come and second, never first. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. OK, right, boys and girls, thank you so much for coming. You guys have been great. JP, lead our boys and girls out. Bye, you have your bag. Bye, thank you. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen, everyone. Woo! I think I kind of already have a crush on sous chef Scott. He does look scary, but I don't know, something about that bald head. Many years ago, when I first met Chef Ramsay, I told him I wanted to work with him so bad that I would shave my head. This is what I looked like before I started working with Chef Ramsay. <laughs> wow. Yesterday, Chef Ramsay was asking how I'm going to test your commitment. I couldn't think of a better way than for you to do what I did eight years ago. Andy, please bring in the barber's chair. This cannot be happening. Who wants to shave their head? What girl wants to shave their head? I have even convinced Andy to make the same commitment. There's no way, there's no way she's going to cut her hair. Oh, fuck it. I already beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Andy. Wow. Whoa. In all honesty, I did not see that fucking coming. Show of hands, first volunteer. He's staring right freaking at me. I'm not cutting my hair. <laughs> I'm not shaving my head. Quite a few of you. You, Shaggy, come here. Oh, boy, he's taking a long hairs first. Let's do it. That guy has almost the same hair as me. I can't believe it. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, shit. This is really going to happen. We're all going to get our heads shaved. Awesome. Thank you. It looks good. Who's next? Young lady in the pink shirt. I just can't believe this is happening right now. Oh, my god. Oh, my guys, it's easy. If it's your guy, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, I just, I'm single. What do you think? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I didn't want to even look him in the eye. Please don't cut my hair. 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 You. <laughs> Stop! What the fuck is going on down there? Stop! Stop! <laughs> what are you I'm doing? Sorry, chef. You out of the chair, back in line. Yes. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. This is totally. 
Not gonna happen. What the fuck happened to Andy? The chef's willingness to cut their hair showed Chef Ramsay how committed they are to being in Hell's Kitchen. But he still has a couple of matters to clear up. Now, you may have noticed that the two people that had their heads shaven were not cooking alongside you. They're Scott's friends. Got it? Oh, my god. Now, there's one more thing. Andy. <laughs> OK. Andy's hot with hair, and Andy is hot bald. And she's got an attitude, which is uh, it takes sexy to a different level. I'd like to show you an example of four dishes that caught my attention for being very unique in how they are executed. In front of the red team, then we have a delicious tuna tartare. Next to that, an ice cream sundae. In front of Melanie, spaghetti and meatballs. And at the end, then we have a slice of carrot cake. The carrot cake, I definitely want a piece of that. Like, I'm going to sneak over and give me a piece. Uh, Joy, Anton, Gabriel, and Rochelle, I want you to taste that. OK. Oh, well, <laughs> if you want to cook fresh, Chef Ramsay, by all means, go right ahead. In you go. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it was the nastiest spaghetti and meatballs I've ever had in my life. Gabriel, why are you scratching your head? It tastes like shit. The spaghetti meatballs? It's really a strawberry and apricot marinara <laughs> with date and walnut meatballs over a bed of zucchini. It was fucking gross. Rush out. The carrot cake is a veal and breadcrumb mixture with duck fat set mashed potatoes as the icing. Brr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, chef. <laughs> the ice cream sundae, butter and gravy. The tuna tartar, it's watermelon. Listen, it wasn't made to taste good. It was made to fool you. It looks amazing. And that's why the only thing a great chef can seriously count on is his palate. These 15 aspiring chefs are on their way to Hell's Kitchen. I'm here because I think Hell's Kitchen is my destiny. Whoever I have to step on, I can do that. I'm here to win. Being married to my daughter's father, that was truly living house. So after that, Hell's Kitchen is going to be a cakewalk. The chefs think they know what lies ahead. But Chef Ramsay is planning a little surprise. The chefs are finally getting the chance to size up the competition. But what they don't know is that Chef Ramsay will be secretly sizing them up. I just wanted to congratulate you guys and wish you good luck, but not good enough luck to win. My goal is to show Gordon Ramsay that I'm the only one that knows how to cook, and the way I look at it is fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, you're all going down. And that's the way I look at it. By the way, Chef Ramsay is gonna eat you alive walking in his kitchen with that hat on. He could have the hat, he'll just give it back to me when he gives me my own restaurant. <laughs> is definitely a battle. I hear these people on the bus talking about how they're going to win. They ain't even a class with me. They're nothing to me. One hand would take out any of them. You know, I'm, just, I'm the black Gordon Ramsay. You know, but you know, I'm, 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 he's the president, and I'm the four-star general. It has to go that way. Nice. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, man. Oh, my god. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd love hell so much. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Look, it's joyful. Joy Please, oh my goodness. gather around. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. You must be all very excited to meet Chef Gordon Ramsay. Actually, I'm quite good in doing an impression of him. One spaghetti, one risotto, one crab! What is this? No! <laughs> it's overcooked! <laughs> what about you? Could you do a little impression of Gordon? Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> what about you? Come on, where is it? 
think you're gonna have to work on it. <laughs> what about you, you big guy? Jean-Philippe, it's time to open Hell's Kitchen. David's doing it real good. Come here, you, you donkey. Wait a minute. Stop! Shut it down. I know that voice. That's right. It's me. Oh, my God. I've been sitting next to the chef on the bus all fucking time. <laughs> Didn't know it was coming. 